I'm about to drop the iPhone XS from this height. Three, two, one, drop. Apple says the iPhone XS and XS Max has the most durable smartphone glass in the world. Let's put that claim to the test. First up is the iPhone XS, and we're gonna start from three feet, which is about waist height. An edge drop, face down. It's still alive. On the back. See you later. I don't see any damage on the back or even on the camera bump. Let's take things up a notch to five feet, all set? Okay, see you later. Oh my. Is the screen intact? Oh, it is! <laughs> that is a surprise. <laughs> so it landed on its back from five feet, did a little back flip, and yet there's still no damage on the rear of the iPhone XS. Let's switch over to the iPhone XS Max and its ginormous 6.5 inch display. That's right. Drop. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. And let's see. I don't see any damage so far. No scratches and nothing around the camera either. So far, so good. Okay, let's step it up to five feet for the iPhone XS Max. One, two, three. Oh, it sounded promising. All right, I'm not saying that you shouldn't get a case, but the iPhone XS Max easily survived a five foot drop. How about 11 feet or thereabouts? Look how high we are right here. I'm about to drop the iPhone XS from this height. Three, two, one, drop. If this did not crack, nothing will ever crack it. Oh my, uh, now it cracked. Top corner, you can see it looks like a, there's a, a wayward pixel right there. Yet amazingly, no other cracks. 11 feet. How about the even bigger max? Three, two, one. Surveying for damage. Whoa. Nothing. So apparently nothing can kill the iPhone XS Max, but how about a drop from over a story tall on its face? Or at least we're gonna try. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh! Oh, it's dead. But after dropping over a story, this is what kills the iPhone XS Max. A super long drop on its face. Cracks everywhere, but think about all the torture we went through to get here. So if you're in the market for a very durable smartphone, I think the XS and the XS Max will impress you. For Tom's Guide, this is Mark Spoonauer.